So you you talked about uh, the personality that, uh, or touched on the personality that was uh, the late Roland Alexander and his, uh, you know, his really capturing moment in Beyond the Mat as a personality. Modest, uh, when when we interviewed him, said that, you know, that really didn't capture who he was as a person. It was a rather stereotypical um, portrayal as, you know, a sleazy promoter. What, what were your experiences dealing with uh, Mr. Alexander? Um. We had a love hate. We had a love hate relationship. I mean, I mean, just like any anybody else. I mean, and that's that's the honest to god truth. I, I'm not going to sit here and lie and say, oh yeah, no, we were great, and Roland was the greatest guy in the world. No, Roland, Roland did make people mad. Roland did do things that you know sometimes came off selfish, right? But when we look at the big picture, right, in the greater scheme of things, right, he provided the platform for all of us to do what we could do in this business, right? If it wasn't for Roland, if it wasn't for APW, I would have never been in Beyond the Mat. I probably would have never, you know, got into pro wrestling, right? So I, I heard Mike's comments on that and I agree with him. Um, but I'll say this much, I don't think we should feel sorry for Roland because um, I've had several conversations with Roland after Beyond the Mat and he said that was the greatest thing that ever happened to him. And he said that um, he doesn't care how he was portrayed. He thought it was, he thought it was great and he thought it was entertaining how they played me and, rolling against each other, right? Or like, oh yeah, no, he doesn't pay people. It's like, oh, they're getting paid and they love it. You know, that that whole thing, <laughs> right? So Roland said, oh, I love the fact that they did that. It made it interesting. Otherwise we would have just been, you know, these guys trying to get the shot in the WWF. It's like, we made it look like we had our own inner promotion turmoil. So, you know, Roland, Roland dug every, every piece of it and his APW boot camp went through the roof when, um, when Beyond the Mat came out. So I don't feel sorry for Roland um, one bit. You know, he he was very happy to be in that movie as well as myself and Mike. You know, I just talked to Mike all the time and I was like, we hit the lottery by being in that movie because Barry had gone all, all over the country interviewing guys and in all different promotions and he picked us. Well, absolutely. And, and Beyond the Mat is, you know, an, an iconic uh, feature in in the the wrestling community, the classic wrestling community. Everybody's still talking about it, and talking about Roland Alexander and how many independent promoters out there have there been that that don't have that name recognition or um, downright affection for in you, know, you know their memory. Um, I I'm going to change gears on you just for a second, just to show you how big Roland got. Um, so I ended up going and training. Um, Terry Taylor was a good friend of mine. And Terry, you know, when he was in WWE, he tried to get me in WWE. When he was in WCW, he tried to get me in WCW. And I remember um, what he brought me over to the power plant. So I'm in, you know, I'm in there rolling around with Paul Wondorf, Mr. Wonderful. And I, when I was a kid, he was my favorite wrestler, right? And I just couldn't believe I'm in there with him. And he told me to throw some punches. When I threw some punches, he said, where were you trained? And I was kind of afraid to say APW because at that point, Roland was known as being this guy that was always on the internet, always, you know, your promotion sucks. My promotion is better. Your guys suck. My guys are better. You know, so it was always like, it was sometimes hard for us to get bookings because, you know, nobody wanted to use the guys that Roland kept shoving down their throat. Right. So when Paul Orndorff asked me where I was trained, I said, I was trained in California. And he said, kid, I asked you where you were trained. And I said, I was trained at APW. And he said, isn't that the promoter that's always on the internet talking shit about people? Hope you can bleep that. Um, and I said, uh, yeah, that's, that's him. He goes, well, you were trained right. And I remember telling Roland, I said, Paul, Mr. Wonderful Orndorff knows who you are. And he said that I was trained right. So if it wasn't for that movie, they wouldn't even know who he is. 